So this is tomato season. And I'm wondering, Julia, what do you got in store for us today? This is Jamie and Julia. Oh! <laughs> bon appetit. We're back to mastering the art of French cooking. The first one today from Julia and Co. We're at the uh, latter half of uh, tomato season getting to the end. And I'm running out of time to, to make this recipe right here. Tomate a la Provençale. Tomatoes stuffed with breadcrumbs, herbs, and garlic. One of the most savory ways of serving tomatoes is a la Provençale. These tomatoes go well with many things. And proceeds to list many things. So in this cookbook, there's something that always pops up here. It's a la Provençale. And if you are wondering, as I was, uh, what that really entails, it's just the style of cooking that is done in Provence, which is the region in France. And the ingredients for that typically include onions and garlic and herbs and tomatoes and olive oil, like the freshest, most delicious ingredients. And uh, this recipe, includes all those things. I know what I'm in for today because I was just watching Julia, Ch Julia Child's Julia Child. former partner in crime, uh, the French chef, an actual French chef, Jacques Pepin. And he had his fresh tomatoes and he made up this recipe in what seemed like minutes. So yeah, it looked like a breeze. I'm not gonna make it look like a breeze. I'm gonna follow along to, to anyway. Let's get cooking. Okay, so I got my very nice, nice looking tomatoes that have been washed. Uh, they look pretty. One has a bit of a, some damage on it, but that's fine. First, I gotta remove the stem. So just a small little circle around the stem and be gone. I've gotta cut the tomatoes in half crosswise. Squeeze these tomatoes, remove any juice and the seeds, but you gotta do it very gently and I do not want to ruin the integrity of this tomato. The seeds aren't coming out completely, so I'm gonna have to figure something out. She just says squeeze them with your hands. And remove any remaining problem seeds with my finger, specifically my index finger. I just, I don't know. Dude, man, you gotta shut up most annoying fridge in the world. Yeah, I'm talking to you, you jackass. You have nothing else to say? No? Good. I mean, he's so rude. Put these tomatoes on a baking tray, just like so. Season them with salt and pepper. How much? Doesn't matter, just go for it. Season as you wish. That is prepped. Let me just put that off to the side. So one thing I really, uh, you know, I'm guilty of buying store-bought breadcrumbs. So I'm trying to turn over a new leaf here and I'm gonna start just making my own. So here's a whole bunch of leftover bread. Shout out to the Apple Charlotte video for all this leftover like day old bread here that I'm gonna just. I'm gonna choose how coarse or how fine I want this stuff. Um, maybe a bit more. Love it. There we go. Now she doesn't say this in the cookbook, but I'm gonna use my food processor for this next part. I think that's much easier, and I saw my buddy Jacques Pepin using the food processor, so that's what I'm gonna do. Because I have it. If I have it, I'm gonna use it. If you don't have it, then don't use it. You just use the knife. What am I doing? Uh, what am I doing? Half first, you dumb dumb. So first I'm gonna chop up, I don't need to chop it up, but I have a shallot. See, I don't need to cry today because I'm gonna throw you in the food processor. My shallot, two cloves of garlic, tablespoon of basil, and two tablespoons of parsley. Just an eighth teaspoon of thyme. I'm using dried thyme today, forgive me. Quarter teaspoon of salt. Big pinch of pepper quarter cup of olive oil, and one and a half ounces of these breadcrumbs. Call me hesitant about using breadcrumbs after that cassoulet. I hope this is correct. I really hope this is correct. So I wanna make sure that I'm using the exact amount that I need to be using. Cool. All right, you know what time it is. So she just says, oh God, damn. She says blend it all together. 
That's all she says, so I think it's up to you how you want it to look. That's what I'm going for. And those shallots are making me... <sighs> it's okay. I don't think I added enough time. Very specific today, <laughs> I don't know. I just don't think I added enough. Correct the seasoning if you need to. A little salt, one last big pinch of pepper. Do not crowd your tomatoes. Take a spoonful of this filling and there's not a chance in hell that I'm gonna have enough of this. Well, that ran out fast. I didn't even get to half of this. So uh, back to the drawing board. Basil, more parsley, two tablespoons worth. <laughs> yeah. Two cloves of garlic. No, you're running out of olive oil there, bud. Quarter cup of olive oil. Shallot, one quarter teaspoon of salt. Thyme, pepper, breadcrumbs. Why do you keep forgetting that? Shall we try that again? The tears do not bother me, FYI. I mean, they just come and go. It's all quick, it's over with. Uh, it just looks funny, you know? Because I'm so sad all the time. Okay, so these gotta go into a 400 degree Fahrenheit oven for 15 minutes. Top rack. Until the tomatoes are tender and hold their shape and the breadcrumbs got a little uh, color to them, right? Brown lightly. Let's take a look. There's one casualty, but it's okay. Order up. Shall we? Oh God. This is gonna go really freaking fast here. Mm. 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 Wow, wow. Did I just set a world record or what? Three of those down in less than what, like a minute? I do say this a lot on the show. Oh, that's so good, that's delicious, whatever. No, that was so good and delicious. It is, um, it's a 10 out of 10. No, I'm gonna say 11, closer to 12 out of 10. I'm surprised that she has no mention of like grating some cheese on top of those things. Um, it sounds like something that she'd want to do. But I mean, why mess with perfection? You don't wanna mess around with that. You don't need the cheese. You got plump, juicy ass tomatoes with this fresh, whew, bad for the breath, but good for the soul, uh, delicious filling, stuffing on top. I'm just picturing it all now. Like if you had like a nicely cooked steak to go along with two of these right here, that would be something to write home about. Alas, I do not. Fresh, well-made ingredients that make all the difference in the world. And can I give a shout out to my homemade breadcrumbs? Because I could taste the difference. And no butter. It's really nice change of pace. This was Jamie and Julia. Bon appetit. Over. Now over on Patreon, I'm releasing a Patreon only Q&A video with questions that were asked by my patrons. Now, if you wanna check that out, you gotta sign up for Patreon. Uh, but if you do, there's extra content over there, including like behind the scenes, and I do live streams frequently, and it's just a great way to support the show. Of course, you don't need to if you don't want to, just stay right here, lots more to come. I'll see you soon. I'm not gonna lie, my breath after that reeks.